All right, so here we are with another episode of Minecraft. Hopefully I will be able to get a couple more of these out before the end of the year. Um, end of the year, schedules get busy, so hopefully it won't be too bad, but yeah. So after last episode, we determined, or at the end of last episode, we looked at the tower that we had worked very hard to make. I, should, I say we, I'm sharing the blame, but no, it is my tower. <laughs> um, and decided that it looked really stupid with how low the roof was. So I immediately, after you know sleeping because it was nighttime, came over and started taking all the roof off and readjusting everything. And after a little bit, finally got that all up and going and closed it out. I really kind of want to adjust the structure of the roof a little bit more because it still looks a little funny to me. I think I need to add some dormers and stuff, but um, as you can see, it looks a little bit better in the sense that the roof doesn't isn't cutting like the portal off halfway. It looks a little bit more um, sorted that way. So. We'll take it as a win because, you know, we have to. <laughs> and then um, I did decide that I wanted to, like, swap the lava side with the regular side. And once that was finished, I decided to officially make the bubble elevators, which was good. So I got my kelp and I got my um, sand. <laughs> and then I realized that I was going up to a level that didn't have an opening and I would most likely drown in the process. So I quickly stopped what I was doing and I ran up and I made an opening. And so then I was able to finish putting in all of the kelp at the right level. This is probably one of my favorite parts about doing the bubble elevator because it goes so generally so smoothly. smoothly. So yeah, except for the fact that I apparently landed at too big of a height and had too little health, so I had to <laughs> go and get all that stuff. Unfortunately, I lost all of my levels and I needed it, but once that was finished, it was time to start working on the sides of the tower. I had a really hard time picking the colors and figuring out exactly what I wanted to do. I did know that I needed some more... Um, blackstone so I decided to go back to the nether to get some more of the black stone from this bastion it's not like the best bastion but um it works for what I need it to and then while I was out here I decided I would add some more uh buttons to my button collection Right here I'm using normal buttons, or normal, normal buttons, normal wood, which I normally don't like to use, especially in the nether, because it burns. <laughs> and so, um, I'll eventually swap it out. But the real goal is to have this whole place covered so that only, uh, things can spawn in kind of like one spot, and I can get a bunch of wither skeletons from it but I don't know how well that's gonna go. After placing my couple extra spots, I decided to go back to our tower building. Because I'm creating so much of these like nether trees or whatever, fungus tree trees, um, I wanted to have more of the actual mushrooms because my tiny little six by six spot wasn't going terribly well. So I decided to make one of those kind of like bone meal insta farm or automatic farm type things um this farm build is based off of a tutorial done by pixel riff so i will as always put the i say always always with an asterisk put the description of the or the tutorial for the um automatic farm down below so that you guys can follow it and not follow me but it's basically just shifting the ground underneath it which is causing everything to break which works pretty well thankfully you know it's amazing it's <laughs> it's a farm that actually that i made that actually works wow um not a knock on um 
any of my tutorials, but more, again, my skills. <laughs> I hadn't I, I put the flooring okay so this is this is a big mess up on my part are we surprised no so I made the flooring of this all of the um, like crimson flooring which it shouldn't be because I'm making I'm not making the walls red I'm making the walls like the nice teal color that I always have but yeah this is me just testing it out and I'm already out of bone meal but guys it actually worked and I added some of the more like teal colored flooring and I do eventually like swap it so it's a little bit larger of a set because that tiny little section isn't really enough but it got, it got me what I needed, plenty of mushrooms and also bone meal so that I can work on my tree farm and get to work on getting all the stuff I need in order to set up the walls for the tower or whatever the basic like idea is having the teal kind of continue swapping between it um but it i sort of it's an odd number for the walls if i the way i'm coning it meaning that i need like a center color for it and i hadn't quite decided if i wanted to continue the black stone for all the way for the walls or if I wanted to do something a little bit different. This is the center section so this is easy because I just need the teal and then one accent color and then it should be good to go but who's to say. <laughs> Anyways let me know what you guys think down below. I will see you guys later. Have a happy holidays. Thanks for watching. Bye!